Today we're going to be adding Fernox protector to a radiator system through the radiator air vent bump. To achieve this we need to isolate the radiator from the rest of the system. On this radiator we have two isolation valves underneath on the block. On some radiators there will be a valve on either end. So we just need to remove the two caps and wind the two grub screws down to the stop. radiator is now isolated from the rest of the system. To make room for the Fernox protector, which is 290 millilitres, we will need to drain some water from the radiator. As this is quite a small radiator, I think we'll just drain, drain the whole thing. Now we need to remove the bung from the opposite end of the radiator. To do this you'll need an Allen key. And obviously you need a container to catch Catch the water as it comes out. I think that's enough water drain over there now. Remember to put the bung back in and tighten it up fully. Now it's time to put the furnace protector into the radiator. The kit comes with two adapters. The smaller one, on some radiators, you can remove the air vent screw and screw that directly into the air vent. But it also comes with a half inch BSP or 15mm threaded connection where you can remove the bung completely and screw that into the radiator. In this instance we're going to remove the bung and use this little fitting. Now we just squeeze the whole tube into the radiator. Now we replace the air vent bung and make sure it's tightened fully. Now we need to let the water back into the radiators. So open these valves that we closed earlier on. Here's some water entering the radiator. Remember to bleed the radiator afterwards. Either use a key and a cloth or a bowl to catch the water, or if you've got one of these little gadgets that catches the water for you. Remember to write the date that you put the Fernox in the system on the sticker and apply that to the boiler. Fernox should be added to the system at least once a year.